city manager, and Nancy James, who you just saw brilliantly perform with the Pete Wagner Orchestra, Moreno Frazzetti, Dr. John Stevenson, who's already here with us, Reverend Monsignor Cleves, and Tom Gaduli Sr., the chairman of this festival, to come up and join us on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can uh, make your way up to the stage, we'd appreciate it. And of course, we need to know who has the all-important scissors and ribbon for the official cutting of the ribbon to start Italian Day. Italian sausage, you're eating bruschetta, you have a little wine perhaps, maybe a little beer, although I'm sure there's nobody here drinking beer. Not this early. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere and it's almost seven o'clock here in Newport, Kentucky on a, on a Thursday night, June 9th, 2022. Good evening. Welcome to the 30th annual, can you believe 30 years, 30th annual Newport Italian Fest. I'd like to introduce our luminaries on stage, Mayor Tom Gaduli Jr., Vice Mayor Frank Peluso, Commissioner Beth Fennell, if she's here, Commissioner Ken Recton, Jerry Peluso, and uh, Senior Manager Tom Froman. More on Mr. Peluso as we continue this evening. This is a special night. <laughs> City manager, Tom Fromey. Thank you for, for the help, Mr. Mayor. We'd like to begin our celebration with the Newport Police Department's Honor Guard. Who will be coming from this side of the stage. And uh, we have both American and Italian flags obviously represented this evening because this is too, totally an, an Italian-American celebration. Commissioner uh, Ken Recton, can you get up on stage, please? We need you here. We can't do it without you. rise if you will and join me in the pledge of allegiance I pledge allegiance to the United the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all thank you Will everyone please join Nancy James as she sings our national anthem. Thank 
Presetti will sing the Italian national presenting and one more song to honor the commonwealth in which we live dr john stevenson sings my old kentucky home thank you i would be remiss if i didn't mention that out in the audience tonight is my son, who just retired as the head of the revenue cabinet here in Northern Kentucky, and uh, my daughter, who just retired from the Northern Kentucky Health Department. My son happens to be Guito DePella Stevenson. That ought to give you a hint as to his heritage. And uh, I'm quite proud of him. We've been coming here for many years. And this song was taught to me by Happy Chandler many years ago. And he said, son, I'll teach you how to sing it, but you gotta sing it from your heart. Now, Randy's back there playing on the keyboard and he does such a magnificent job, he'll make me look very good. <laughs> and, uh, but, I'm going to do something just a little different today. I'm going to sing the first verse of this song. And then I got a little special tribute I want to make to you, the people of all of Northern Kentucky, and specifically Jerry Peluso and Newport people. And you'll see what it is when I do it. The 
sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. Tis summer, the children that play. The corn tops bright and the meadows are in bloom. And the birds make music all the day. We no more, my lady. Oh, we no more today. We will sing one song for my old. Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home, far away. Now before I sing the last verse of my old Kentucky home, I want to sing for you a little song written by Billy Preston. And Joe Cocker made it famous all over the world as a love song. But Billy Preston wrote the song and played the organ for Elvis Presley for many years. And he sang the song for the first time in his mother's little church. And he played the guitar with it because the organ was broke down. And he sang the song to God. Now here tonight, I want to look you in the eye and tell you that we all need to love each other red yellow brown black and white we're all precious in jesus sight and i'm not here to preach to you but i am here to tell you what the truth is i'm the only living kentuckian that's been in every single county at least five times i've met many of the people of the state of kentucky and we have everything to be proud of in kentucky because we are a state, a commonwealth of love. And I can tell you, having run statewide four times, once even as a Republican and once even as a Democrat. So I've seen it all. But yeah, I can tell you that I have watched Newport grow as a city. And I can tell you that Newport people, there is none better in the world. And that is the truth wonderful people and tonight you honor one called jerry peluso what a what a personality what a character and what a mayor and you got another mayor coming right behind him that is really just as dynamic because i watch them all the time they really work for the citizens i'm proud of them let's give them a big hand yeah. And the song goes like this. You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful to me. And you see, you're everything. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful to God. Yeah. And as we sing the last verse of my old Kentucky home, I want you to reach over and grab the pulse of the person next door to you. Just reach over and grab that pulse. If you don't find one, let's call the life squad. <laughs> but tonight, that pulse knows no ethnicity. It knows no particular political party. And Jerry, it knows just love. And uh, I can tell you all, Jack, all all the vulnerable folks I see out there, it's love. 
and we say, Oh, the children roll on the little cabin floor, all merry, all happy and bright. By and by, hard times comes a knocking at the door. Then my old Kentucky home says good night. Now join in with me. We no more, my ladies. Oh, we no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home. Stevenson, everybody. It wouldn't be the same celebration without him. Now we'll bring uh, our senior Cleves up to give the invocation for this year's Italian Fest. You were great. Yes, you were. Yes. She told me that she. Let us pray. Dei giorni recenti, o oh Signore, dei mesi recenti, abbiamo visto gli effetti del odio, della guerra, della violenza da parte degli altri. In these recent days and months, O oh God, we've seen the effects of violence that has, is on people. Violence done by hatred in suspicion and fear. Daci oggi la pace tua, una pace che questo mondo non può darci. Give us your peace, a peace this world can never hope to give. Che tutte le genti abitino svicendevolmente in pace e libertà. Let all the peoples of the earth live with each other in peace and in freedom. Che le mora, che odio edifica fra di noi, svanisca sotto l'ombra del tuo braccio. May the walls that hatred raises between us crumble beneath the outstretched power of your loving hand. Per questo nostro Signore, amen. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Thank you, Monsignor, please. Yes. Mr. Mayor? Mayor Tom Gadouli. Festivities, what song? I want to welcome you to the 30th, the 30th Italian festival in Newport. This festival is a celebration of our rich Italian heritage and its tradition, its culture, its food, its drink, and its music. We would like to also celebrate the contributions that Italian Americans have made, which have helped make our community great. So let's celebrate. Let's have a great time. Newport is a great place to live, work, shop, and play, and is the home of some of our region's most popular attractions and venues. Our success has required teamwork 
and it has a strong sense of community that starts with our residents. We are very fortunate to have so many partners who work with us for the benefit of the city and the entire region. This evening provides us, us with an opportunity to show our appreciation to all of those who have been loyal to the city throughout all these years. Together, we have accomplished great things over the past several years. With your support, your participation, we will have a bright future for generations to come. There's one of that next generation. <laughs> this is Louis Gadouli. So thank you, God bless the Newport Italian Fest, and God bless America. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Our opening ceremony, all of the entertainment for the four-day festival, as well as a lot of the operating costs, and it does take some money to put this on, are funded through our generous sponsors. We'll get through those uh, a little bit later. Throughout the festival grounds in the program, a list of those sponsors, and we ask you to support them throughout the year. Uh, to put on an event like this requires hard work of many volunteers as well, who are listed in the program. We'd like to thank them for the efforts in the production of, let's thank the volunteers yeah. who have come up here at their own time to make this work. I'd like to remind everyone about a couple of events that will be happening during Italian Fest 2022. This is the first time I can remember this. There's a bocce ball court located near the eastern end of the festival grounds. It's free. It's open to anybody that wants to play a little bocce. And a complete schedule of events can be picked up at one of the vendors throughout the festival. We now have the official cutting of the ribbon. Let the Italian Fest 2022 begin! It's official. The 30th Italian Fest is open. The next step of today's proceedings is we are going to honor... I'm not going to say who because it's a surprise, right? <laughs> we are going to honor Jerry Peluso and to introduce, first we'd like to get Jerry's family on the stage with him. So they're all invited to the stage at this time. And Tom Fromey, Newport City Manager, is going to present the Honorable Italian America Sons and Daughter Award. Tom Fromey, you're up. Thank you very much. 